Okay, boys and girls, this lesson is related to Henri Matisse, Apples on the Table with Green Background, which was painted in 1916. And I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how you can make your own painting just like this. So I'm just gonna put this to the side. As always, when you get your paper, always make sure you write your name on the back. I'm just gonna zoom out so that we can see exactly what we've got to do. I'm gonna give you a plate or a palette you need this just to put in the center and then with a black crayon you're going to go around that shape so we're really only using this palette for a tracer and we can use a plate and what i'm using is this today okay now i've got a lovely circle in the middle i'm going to give you a little cup a little plastic cup and you're going to set it down and what you're going to do is you're going to trace around that shape now because you're using a crayon just bring it in a little bit from the edge of that circle and you'll see why because when you go around my crayon is that chunky that it doesn't go close to the edge of that shape so I'm just going to go around and I'm going to do this three times side by side so one move that around there two around and three just put it there okay so I've drawn three shapes which are going to be three apples. Now we're going to then use this cup still and we're going to overlap so it's as though the apples are sitting on top of each other in a, on a bowl or in a plate. So I'm just going to set the cup, it's overlapping on some of those circles already and I'm just going to go from one edge to the other. So you can see that it drew from there to there. I didn't draw into that other apple or into that other apple. You need to remember that if you do you're going to actually create another line and you don't want that other line. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to put the cup there and I'm going to go from where that line was and I'm going to bring it all the way around until I hit the other apple and I'm going to stop. I'm not going to continue. So now I've drawn another apple. So this one's overlapping this one and this one as well. So you've got these overlapping that one and you can see I stopped. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to draw a line from that apple around this shape going to go round and I'm going to stop at that line so that I don't go into that next apple. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You can probably get six or seven apples on your plate. Now freehand you're going to take your crayon and you're going to draw around that shape and what this is doing is creating a rim for that plate. So if you think of all the bowls and plates that you have that you eat from you've always got a rim. Now I'm going to give you a selection of colours, I'm going to give you bigger pots, these are just my little pots for this demonstration today. You're going to get a clean water pot and I'm going to give you a square flat paintbrush. When it comes to painting the apples you can either use this paintbrush still or I'll give you a round one. The choice is yours at that point but for this one the very first thing you need to always remember is that we paint the background first. So you're going to pick a colour that is not an apple colour. So when you think apples are red they can be yellowy green or, or yellow and red to give it that, that nice warm orangey tint but they're not blue, we don't get blue apples so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to paint my background blue and I'm going to go around and that's why I'm using that square edge while I'm getting this nice brush stroke remember you hold the paintbrush in delicate brush strokes I'm going to wet the brush so I can pull that colour through going to add a little bit more paint, brush it. I'm going to speed up a little bit more here for you boys and girls. Okay, until I get my whole background done. And you're going to do a far better job than me. All right. A little bit more color. Well, you'll have newspapers, so go to the very edges. Okay. Bring it down. And then the next part we're going to paint is the rim. So you can then actually mix a colour if you want to, to make a colour for the rim of the plate. We're nearly there boys and girls, nearly there, there we are. And I'm going to give you a mixing palette. So if I wanted to make, say I wanted a purple, you at this stage should know how to make purple. You'd use a bit of blue, remember I've got a dark blue as well. Always wash your brush before you go into the next colour. And the tiniest bit of red, because it's quite a strong red. 
and when I mix it I've created a purple and I'm going to go round this is what's so great about this paintbrush I'm just going to go round the rim you can even wet your brush to extend that color around okay around and around get a bit more of that paint and there's the rim of my plate okay you're going to take it a little bit more easier than me I'm just demonstrating today then you're going to go behind your apples I'm going to use a nice vibrant yellow I'm just going to paint in behind there we go this is what's so good about this brush as well because it kind of cuts in around those edges so I'll make the background nice and bright I like this yellow sunshine yellow and next time we use the yellow we'll actually be blending it with other colors to make those apple colors so finally washing my brush I'm going to get a tiny bit of red make sure my brush is clean and a tiniest bit of green and when I mix them together I actually make a brown and we're going to add some shadow in so I'm going to make sure I've got a nice brown Okay, and just where you see the apples that are sitting on the plate you're just going to go around the edges just a little bit and dot in so you're giving it some shadow which is called value so you can see that there's shadows it's light and dark so then it shows that the apples are actually sitting on a surface and it starts to look more realistic like a real painting okay so there's my shadows now if you look at that you can see how I work that now I'm leaving that now I'm going to work with the apples I've got clean brush and I'm going to get some yellow first and let's see I'm going to paint this I'm going to paint it I'm going to go round in a circle because apples are round aren't they I'm going to take it right to the edge of that circle that I painted I'm going to rinse my brush and with the smallest amount of red on my brush I'm going to go over and actually mix the colors on top it doesn't mean I have to make the whole thing blend but I can just go like that so I'm showing a little bit of the yellow through and I've made a kind of ready orange apple I'm going to get my yellow again I'm going to paint it I'm going to go around because we're making this look like it's real so an apple is round paint around that B rinse my brush and this time I'm going to get the smallest amount of green and I'm going to do the same just going to blend it a bit of the yellow shows through a bit of the green and now I'm going to get another color and I'm going to paint just a lovely red apple and this time I could do the opposite if I paint that apple red if I wanted to and I'm going to rinse my brush really really red because I don't want it to go through I could get a little bit of yellow and just go over just a part of it and just give it a hint of yellow now at this stage of all the mixing that I've done my water is really really dirty we're going to volunteer somebody from each team to change the water and then you're going to get a new water okay because we don't want our colors to get muddy we don't want our apples to look like they're brown and bruised we've got a lovely green so I could do a lovely dark green apple and if I really wanted to make it darker and I'll show you how I can make it dark if I wanted that green to be even stronger because of the one that's behind it if I rinse my brush I could even add a tiny bit of blue and of course that makes the green change a different color as well if I want to try the darker one and go in around the edges that adds in a little bit more shadowing if you're really cool at doing that you could do that there you see going to go back and I could do what I did with the red is actually add a soft green and how you make the green softer put a light wash of green and with a little bit of white just go over it and you get a nice pale just a light bit of white you get this nice pale green and if you're not completely happy with that green you could wash your brush again and go over it with a little bit of yellow what we're doing is we're blending and mixing colors on the surface of your paper and there you can see there and I'm actually just going to build it up a little bit more for the last color and create a little bit of balance I'm going to go back to my yellow 
and make this one yellow and add a little splash of red to it again okay so I've got a nice balance going across my fruit bowl and there you go boys and girls that is your painting where you're blending on the surface and then you can because the edges are going to be dry at this point take your crayon and go back over those circles go around the edge and then when your apples are drying one by one do a little V little V and then you can put it on the drying rack and there you go boys and girls let's just zoom in there's your painted apples congratulations now it's your turn let's go make some art